Hey everybody, it's Jay, it's Nick, it's Jeff. We are back from Pit Race and the Pit Maneuver. Now this is a new track for us. We like going to new tracks because everybody likes to see something new, have a new challenge. There are not very many racetracks that are suited to us though, and of the ones that are, most don't want to have us. All right, in addition to the new track, we had a lot of new stuff. One of the themes that was new and kind of awesome, Mr. Rogers Trolley showed up with elbows on the wheels. That was good. Fantastic. We also had a new team with a Ford Focus done up in a Hunt for Red October submarine theme. There was a Banksy theme complete with also the self-shredding painting. That was awesome. Oh, and there was a really good Donny Iris and the Cruisers theme. Man, I remember that. Cruising Stockton, California, Pacific Avenue. My five spokes on the bird. That was great, man. Man, my dad had on the radio in a 65 Corvette. I yep. could see the dash. Yeah. And listening to that. Ah. I've never heard this song before in my life. I, I think it might have been before my time. Hey, John, you're a young guy. Do you remember this song? But terrible, there was a Pinto wagon, which of course we love those. Would have been hella sweet. But of course it blew up its water pump broken half, which was one of many mechanical problems for many teams during the weekend. On the flip side of that, hella sweet, uh, the Simon penalty. Remember that game? You press the buttons where the, when they light up. I had one of those. Uh, also, the Umbrella Girl penalty was quite popular. Love it. Yeah, oh, and the pillowcase full of doorknobs, my personal favorite, just like your uh, monster on Long Island. Okay, there we go. That guy with the doorknobs, isn't that NASCAR legend and Lemons veteran Greg Biffle? <laughs> Hello, sweet. Three pedal mafia threw a prom on Saturday night. Yeah, you know, I, I, nobody asked me to go to prom, but you know, I was I wasn't even planning on going anyway, and it was fine. And I actually had more fun than people that went. Silly Nannies was at this race, and they've come back many times, and they're always trying to find the weird little loophole that stretches the rules, and there's going to be the secret that makes them win. And it's always some illegal fueling thing that gets caught in tech. And this race was no exception. One of their three cars totally got busted for an illegal fuel tank modification. The thing is, is when they stop trying to worry about how they're going to cheat to win, they can actually win. And their other car, this Ford Mustang, passed tech with no problems and went on to win the race. I got screwed, went to Momrath Racing. Now, they almost won this race. They did really, really well. Saturday night, they were up until 3 in the morning fixing somebody else's car, replacing the clutch and fabricating parts on somebody else's car so that they could take their tires to finish the race on Sunday. Then it rained all day Sunday. They did not need the tires. They were up for no reason all night long. And then they did not win in the end by, like, two laps. Heroic Fix went to the glue sticks. Apparently, they broke their axle. They went to a junkyard. It wasn't just any junkyard. It was a junkyard full of cows. Judge's choice was the drive-by. They brought essentially a brand new Cadillac with a North Star. I mean, this thing yeah. was perfect. I was out there on Friday on the test day. I just thought somebody's grandma was driving around their car. No, no, that was a race car. We made them take the interior out because they hadn't. They went around. They raced. The car was great. As you know, for 2019, we have a brand new trophy, the Speedy Cop Memorial, but he's not actually dead, Life of the Paddock Award. And this went to Zero Budget Racing, for just barbecuing and making food for a huge number of people on Saturday night, they got the trophy. I suck at driving and I apologize. The first of two special awards was the winner of the TR8 Challenge. Now, a little bit of background on this. A few weeks before the race, one of the teams that races a TR8 in Lemons, it's amazing there's yeah. more than one. Yeah. He emails me, he's like, man, there's so many TR8s and lemons, I want to host the TR8 challenge. And, and by so a, many, he means three. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, that's, that's a lot. lot. Yeah. By TR8 standards. Yeah. So he says, we're going to have all the TR8s come to the pit race, and there's going to be a race within a race for supremacy among the finest Triumph sports car <laughs> made in whatever year that was. Yeah. Jeff, how did that wind up going? It was a Triumph of sorts. I <laughs> think the first car, the guy that made the trophy, he blew yeah. up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> out yeah. of contention. Absolutely Second dead last. Second car ran so <laughs> yeah. bad that the third one that actually crashed won the trophy. Yeah. The second special trophy was the There's a <laughs> in the Car trophy. There is this Lexus SC Coupe. It is $199. It is two-pedal Mafia. 
It's Sunday. He's going through the rain. He's carving up traffic. Fastest part of the track heading into this hairpin. And all of a sudden, a rubber penis falls out of the top of the cage in the driver's lap. The driver's, ah, rubber penis, ah, crash. Although, although possibly what happened was a rubber penis fell out of the cage and went, ooh, rubber penis, ah, crash. Anyway, totaled the car, almost killed himself. And that was the end of the effort, but he did get the there's a in the car trophy. Organizer's choice went to Oscar's junk heap, a javelin. This yeah. was not any javelin. This yeah. javelin has yeah. lived in rust country for a yeah. long time. I mean, there were holes in it. It was missing, but the script had even fallen off of yeah. the sides of it. It was pretty great. Yeah. But uh, anyway, they did well, and the car was actually fast on track. Speaking of rusty old American cars, the Rust Cartel brought a totally sweet 60s Ford Fairlane that whooped the javelin's yeah, ass, just otherwise... Just creamed it yeah. by going really slow consistently. Exactly. A and former Lemons Rally car, no less. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah. You know, you can double up, yep. build the car, you know, win on Sunday and rally on Monday. <laughs> Actually, it was rally on... Whatever the hell the it was. Week. These guys had an awesome Ford Fairlane, <laughs> and they whooped the javelin's ass, and they won the IOE. <laughs> All right, here's Lemons in a nutshell. Captain Pike is welcome to spend the rest of his life with us unfettered by his physical body. The decision is yours and his. It's Jay, it's Nick, it's Jeff. We are back from the pit maneuver at Pit Race. It's a new track for us. We love going to new tracks. Why am I wearing these? I don't need to read anything. We don't have cue cards. I'll start over. <laughs> <laughs>